Hey YouTube, it's Maddie, the Emptiness Scrapper. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by. If it's your first time, I hope you enjoy the content and will consider subscribing below, leaving a thumbs up, and uh, of course, posting a comment telling me either what you think or what you would like to know or what you like to use in your craft room. If you're returning, as always, I'm super glad you came back. And today I'm going to speak about something that is very close to my crafting heart, and that is saving money. This can be a little bit controversial in our crafting community because, as you know, um, there are people in the crafting community that have strong feelings about supporting small businesses, supporting U.S.-based businesses, and um, I would love to be one of the supporters of the crafty business, of the U.S. businesses. I believe in buying U.S., but I also believe in spending my money wisely. So although I do not shop from Timu or um, AliExpress, um, I do shop from Amazon and Dollar Tree. So everybody has a right to decide how to spend their hard-earned money and I thought I'd share with you what I found to be a great cost saving. And this is just my Amazon go-to purchases that I felt were worth it for me. And uh, I can't promise you that every item was made in the US. I don't know if the small mom and pop uh, crafting companies can promise you that everything that they sell was made in the U.S. So this is this is where I stand and if you're interested in um, what I felt was a good buy on Amazon, I can't promise they're as uh, high quality as the um, crafting crafting stores, they're not stores, online stores are offering, but I do know that they are much less money. So in my view, the things that I purchased do a good enough job for me and they may do a good enough job for you. So um, I thought I'd share the things that I thought were worth the money on Amazon. The first thing I'm going to get to, so I can get it out of the way because it's taken up a bunch of space, is uh, are my um, blending brushes. And these blending brushes I picked up a long time ago on Amazon. I like them because the handles were color coded and uh, I think they do a terrific job. So I believe I got um, 12 of these at the time for uh, $12 and they've suited me well. I have two sets, one for oxides, one for inks, and I haven't been sorry. In addition to these brushes, I also keep in here these little brushes and these I also picked up on Amazon and uh, they were very reasonably priced there you go can you see that better um, the mini brushes were 15 for $10 and each of them came color-coded and in three different sizes and I love these for getting into small areas. So 
if you want to take a closer look at the brushes i'll bring them close and you can see they are all different sizes and um i thought they have been super handy and uh worth recommending the uh the mini brushes were 15 for ten dollars so you can look up the popular blending supplies at the uh at the craft uh branded online stores and see for yourself how you want to spend your money but when i was taking a look there was a huge difference in price um i believe uh these style brushes were if not now at one time uh, uh, approximately a hundred dollars for ten and as, as I said uh, the standard brushes um, on Amazon are twelve for twelve dollars so even if the other brushes are in some way better I don't know really what might cause them to be so much better but twelve dollars versus a hundred um, it's not even a close call for me uh, also, the little brushes similarly are not even close to the same price as well as these little pouncers. And I saw that I had barely used these pouncers. I took one out to try it. And uh, I'll show you. The reason why I thought I would like the pouncers, and I have both the large and the small here's the large pouncer that i have from amazon i love to get everything co color coded what can i say and um it's just uh stored in in this little plastic container i think that's a handy little solution and uh what i picked them up, picked them up for was for specifically using with um, stencils that have like teeny tiny holes. Um, I love this stencil. I, I don't use it much. I probably use it more on maybe pattern paper, but I thought I would uh, give it a whirl. I used the larger pink one on this one, just so you could see. I. I feel like I'm better off using a pouncer for a stencil like this, which is very intricate because I don't know if that happened to you, but for me, I have bent these stencils before using the uh, swiping motion for, from a brush. So pouncing is the way to go. Um, so it pounces through just fine. I use the larger pouncer for this one, it's just flat color. And I used a combination of two colors uh, here with the smaller pouncers, and they all work just perfectly fine. I was um, pretty happy with those results. And I'm gonna move that aside so we can move on. Okay, these are just palette brushes that you might use to um, put, uh, put in your uh, paste through a stencil perhaps or um, any other materials. The metal one, I haven't really even used. I got it as a holiday gift. It was on my list. I thought I would like it, but I really prefer these plastic ones better. These were five pieces for $5. Uh, the metal ones were a set of five for seven dollars so i keep them around they do a fine job and uh you can compare notes with the um craft companies and see if uh if you feel pa other palette knives are worth the extra money um also before we finish up on the blending brushes and these are uh, the ergonomic style blending brushes. These are my oxide 
ones and uh, they also work perfectly fine um let me see i believe i've used some of them yeah so uh this is my pink and i used uh, the blue and i kind of like them for larger areas and they were also relatively um inexpensive uh two sets one for oxides one for inks and they were uh six for twenty dollars so you can do your own comparison shopping on large brushes they work fine enough for me um <clears throat> these little guys these are alcohol inks they're made by pinata you can get them lots of places now. When I purchased them years ago, I only saw them on Amazon. And uh, these pinata alcohol inks um, were uh, quite inexpensive compared to the popular um, craft brand. So the pinatas were a set of nine for $22.75. And the popular brand are three for $12.95. So you'd have to buy three sets of three. And that would be $36. Not a huge difference compared to the other things. Okay, these are my favorite um, alcohol inks. I just pulled a couple. They are the Ohuhus. And I did buy them on Amazon, but... You can get them lots of places. Ohuhu has their own website as well. The particular one that I like are the brush tips. Have a nice brush tip on one side. And on the other side, there is a bullet tip. And uh, I've been using them for several years. I do like them very much. And these I received as a holiday gift, but I got initially the pack of 120. And that pack of 120, back when I got it, was $99. And uh, the name brand that everybody talks about and loves, and maybe it's better, um, they were a pack of 72 for $220. And then if you added another 36 to get close to the 120, it was another $110. So $330 for the same number of markers, roughly, um, as opposed to $99. You can add on more sets. I think there's a total of 300 of the Ohuhus, and there's all 300 and something and 300 and something of the brand name markers for uh, thousands. This little guy is a jewel picker. It was made for nail art, but it's the best thing around that I have found for um, picking up tiny gems and sequins. And uh, this little thing um, I believe you could find between $4 and $9. They come in different kinds of packs. This one comes with extra tips. And it's just a wax pen, so to speak. Uh, a wax pen that picks up tiny things. Oh, pardon me. And this part is replaceable. It comes with two replacements. I haven't found anything better to get the job done when moving tiny pieces, be that, be it um, gems or uh, even just little pieces of paper. And uh, I've been using that since I got it quite a few years. And if I have to replace it, I will replace it with something similar or exactly the same. Okay. Um, now let's get, oh, I did the uh, alcohol inks. 
this is this little guy blows air and uh, it's not as large as the popular one popular ink blower is twelve dollars this little guy um, used to push around alcohol inks was seven dollars so I believe the popular one is um, much larger and probably blows much more air. Um, but I find this one fine. Popular one is, sells for about $12 and this little guy was $7. So uh, almost half the price. Okay, next we'll get into some other kinds of uh, craft items. This was a set of dies. They are words with a uh, shadow. So without getting into, um, you know, stealing designs and, and such, words with a shadow, I believe, don't, isn't anyone's intellectual property. So these uh was a set of 27 pieces on uh, Amazon. So this is just one part. Uh, the other part on is on the other side. This side is not as magnetic-y, but they wouldn't all fit on one. And that set cuts out looking like this. Woo. There you go, cuts out perfect. Um, that set was $10. $10 for all of those sentiments. Um, similar items, I found a 20 piece set was $25. So less than half the price from the popular brands. Um, there are also little phrases that I picked up, nice phrases with a shadow. And I love getting it with the shadow because um, you don't have to use the shadow. So if you get your dies with a shadow, uh, you can um, use the shadow or not. I don't know if I if I uh, noted the dies with the shadows. Um, for price, but I think they were $14. So, oh no, these were $14, the cover plates. Cover plates were $14, and you got a set of four. Um, you know, to me, that's unheard of price-wise. They come uh, in all different kinds of um, designs and also these uh, nesting shapes uh, these nesting shapes there you go they came with three different kinds of shapes and that was ten dollars there were a star heart and flower but they have a whole bunch of different choices for nesting dies three types for ten dollars I mean that's a deal that is a deal and uh, I believe that is all that I have for you for my Amazon purchases. But it's a lot of stuff with a lot of savings. So I work hard for my money. I know you do too. And if I feel like I have gotten good value for non-so-called uh, name brand items. I thought it would be good to share with everyone. I also have um, coming down the pike my favorite Dollar Tree, which I've done before, I believe, but I might have some new items. But these are tried and true. I love them. I remember... Um, Hearing one of uh, my favorite YouTubers say that they chose a specific item. It could have been a brush. It might have been 
a stamp positioning tool and uh, they said they liked that one the best because it came out first. And I thought, well, that doesn't really sell me. I don't know. You choose what you feel is the best way to use your dollars and so will I. But I thought that I would share these items. I enjoy them. I feel like I'm getting my money's worth out of them. And uh, if I can share that information and uh, not have other people um, have to go through the trial and error that I had, then I'm happy to do that. So I hope you enjoyed the content. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment below. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, YouTube.